What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and welcome to the detail speed test between the iPhone 7 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. So in this video, as always, we'll be doing lots of real world speed tests, everything from camera launch to apps, and then moving on to gaming and also seeing multitasking with RAM management. Now, initially I have gone through and updated both devices to the latest software versions available. And I also have the octa-core version of the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 here, which is the one available in the UK. Now getting Geekbench scores out the way, the iPhone 7 Plus actually scores higher on both the single and multi-core performance. It's only ever so slightly higher for multi-core, but for single core, it is significantly higher. And I believe this is the highest single core score that I've seen on any device. Now for the fingerprint scanner, I have done a separate video testing out the fingerprint scanner speed between these two, and they were very, very close. I'll link that video in the cards so you can go ahead and check that out if you're interested. Now for the camera launch, there's a shortcut on the Samsung Galaxy Note 7, which is double pressing the home button. And this is faster compared to the iPhone 7, for which the quickest method I found was to unlock the device and launch the camera, which is pretty fast, but not as fast as the Note 7 quick launch. Now getting through to the app test, you can see that we've got nothing open here. And these are the apps we'll be using in this test, starting off from the least intensive apps and then moving on to the more intensive apps such as gaming. So kicking off with the calculator, did finish loading first on the Note 7. All we'll do is we'll do a simple equation and I'll leave this on just to see if it stays open in the background. Going back home and let's open the browser. So we're using the native browser on here and we're gonna be going on to the BBC News website Now that was very, very close, but we did have this cookies message come up on the Note 7. So we won't take this test into consideration. Let's move on to an article. And this time it was ever so slightly quicker on the 7 Plus. Now we'll leave this open and go back home. And let's move on to the next app, which is Twitter. And it did finish first here on the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. We'll move on to notifications. Very close here, although we started seeing the content first on the 7 Plus, I believe they did finish fully at roughly the same time. Now let's move on to Instagram. Finished first on the Note 7. Now we'll go over onto my profile. Once again, ever so slightly quick on the Note 7. And opening an image was also slightly quicker on the Note 7. Now let's move on to YouTube. So we're gonna open both at the same time. However, the content loaded is slightly different so we can't really take this test into consideration we'll go on to trending and open the same video and started playing first on the 7 plus now we'll leave this video playing and move on to the next test which is gaming and we'll start off with one of the least intensive games here in the collection and that's angry birds 2 we'll speed this up to see which one finishes first and it is first on the 7 plus Now we'll leave both of these open and let's now go on to the next game, which is Temple Run 2. So opening both up at the same time. We'll speed this up once again and faster on the iPhone 7 Plus. Now we're just gonna go in and play the game on both and leave it running in the background while we test out the next game. So moving on to Subway Surfers, speeding this up faster once again on the 7 Plus. Now we'll start this as well and leave it running in the background. And now we'll move on to Dead Trigger 2. Finish first on the 7 Plus, although we had this message pop up, but either way, it did finish first on the 7 Plus. Now playing the game at the same time, let's see which one finishes loading first. Once again, the 7 Plus, so for gaming, the 7 Plus does seem faster. Yes, I know a lot of you are going to be saying that it's because it has a lower resolution and that might be a factor towards it, but this is purely testing speed. Now, let's just test out RAM management. So we're going to go and see if all of the apps that we had opened previously are still in the same place where we left them. So first up, going into the calculator. Yep, same place. Moving on to the browser. 
both open in the same place we'll go on to Twitter now still in notifications where we left them Instagram yep still on the same image that we left it on moving on to YouTube in the same place let's play the video starts playing on the 7 plus a little bit faster there Angry Birds 2 same place Temple Run 2 also the same place Subway Surfers same again and finally Dead Trigger 2 in the same place so both seem to be doing pretty well in terms of keeping those apps open so there we have it the detail speed test between the iPhone 7 plus and the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 both pretty fast and although the Note 7 did seem to be slightly faster for things like launching the camera and some of those less intensive apps such as Twitter and Instagram, the iPhone 7 Plus really did shine when it came to gaming, opening all of the games up faster compared to the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Now, if you have picked up the iPhone 7 or 7 Plus and you want to give it some protection, then I definitely recommend picking up a bumper from our sponsor for this video, which is Rhino Shield. So the Rhino Shield bumper protects your phone, but at the same time, lets the design of the phone shine through. It feels slimmer than a normal case and you can touch the metal at the back of it. However, it does protect the device from an 11 foot drop, which is very impressive with this minimalistic design. I'll be doing a drop test with the iPhone 7 and the Rhino Shield bumper. So if you have any creative ideas of how I should do this drop test, then drop those in the comment section below. I'll also leave a link to Rhino Shield in the description if you wanna go ahead and pick one of these up. So what did you think of the speed test between the iPhone 7 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy Note 7? Drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe and also switch on notifications because there's lots more content coming up on here. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV and I'll see you next time.